Hey friends, in this video, I am going to show you how you can set up a AI automation system that can personalize thousands of cold emails in order to skyrocket your conversion. Every single email will feel unique to the recipient and it will make them feel valued and this will increase your response rate. Plus, I'm going to show you an advanced tactic where you can actually add in manual human intervention so you can actually review every single email that the AI has written to see if it's in your brand's voice and tone, make any changes that you want before you click the send button. So this is very much a game changer in the automation industry. Also, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you like and subscribe because I post about the latest AI tech every single week. And let me know in the comment section about what kind of AI automation you want me to create next. All right, so for today's scenario, what we're going to do is to use Zapier to build an entire audience automation that will allow us to write personalized emails to every single one of our cold prospects. But we're not going to stop there. We're also going to use an advanced feature within Zapier called Zapier Tables in order to be able to add that manual human touch to look over every single email that the AI bot has written, make any modifications we want before we send it out. Don't forget you can get a free trial to Zapier using the link in the description below. All right, so let's dive into it. Zapier is really the OG of AI and automations. It has been around for decades. It was really the first company to streamline and package all of the AI automations into a no-code tool. And over the years, Zapier has really kept its place as the industry leader by continuously adding in new and exciting features, including Zapier tables, Zapier chatbots, Zapier interface, and of course, Zapier Central. So today we're gonna deep dive into Zapier tables here. So once you get your Zapier account, and I'll include a link in the descriptions where you can get a absolutely free account and you can click on the big orange button here at the top where it says create. So we're going to create a Zap first. And for our example today, we're going to take a lead who we have just collected from a Facebook ad. And we're going to take all of that information that we collected about that lead and then write them a personalized email sequence to allow them to learn about our product and services and how it can benefit them. So if you want to use a form on your website or somewhere else, this is totally totally customizable. You just had to choose a different trigger here. But for example, today, it would make sense to choose the Facebook leads ad. For a trigger event, it would be a new lead. And if this is your first time connecting your Facebook account to your Zapier account, then you just need to sign into your Facebook account like I am doing here. And then you just have to grant Zapier the permissions to log into your account and then click continue, choose the Facebook page that you want to connect this to, and then choose the specific form that you want this whole automation to run on. You can also create as many forms as you want inside of your Facebook business account. So I can just test this trigger now to see that it is working. And once it is working, great, I can now connect it to the remainder of the automation. So whenever you look at an automation here, you always have a trigger. So the trigger is what will start this automation. And in this case, it will be whenever there is a new lead that we get from Facebook. And then this is exactly the action that you want it to take. So no matter which no code automation platform that you use, if you understand the logic behind it, doesn't matter the tool, you'll be able to navigate through this. All right, so for our action here, what we want is to actually connect it to our Zapier table. So I'm gonna click on Zapier table, and now we want it to create a new record. Now, before we can continue here, we actually have to go ahead and create our Zapier table. So let's now go back to our Zapier dashboard. And now we want to click on tables and this will take us to the table dashboard. We're going to create a new table. And for our scenario, let's create it from blank and let's call this table 
Facebook leads ad. And just like this, our table is created. And from our main table, we now want to create the same fields that was in our Facebook leads ad. So in our Facebook leads ad, we wanted to collect the name, the email, the phone number, and the website. So the first thing we're going to do is to change all of the column headers here. And I'm also going to just delete the default field here. And we're going to recreate it in just a moment here. So the first field is going to be name, save. And the second field is going to be email. For the field type, I'm going to change this to an email field. And the next one is going to be phone number. And for the field type, I'm going to change it to phone number. And lastly, we need a website. And I'm going to change this to a link field. And now inside of the Zapier table, how it's different from something like Google table is you have these AI fields that can generate results based on the other columns on the spot instantaneously. So I can call this first field here, business summary and industry, and what this will allow. And then I can just write a prompt where the AI can check out this person's website, then write me a summary of what their business does and what industry that they operate in. Once I select the AI field, I can click on create prompt, and then I have two options here. I can start from scratch, or I can start from a template. So I'm going to start from a template, and I can see there's already a pre-built template for summarizing a business. So I can click on that, click next, and then I can click on the website field, and now there's already a built-in prompt that will look at the business domain to tell me what industry this business is in, as well as a summary of it. So I'm just going to press done and then create, boom. So now I already have a summary of their business created. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the email subject line as well as the email body. So I'm going to click on create prompt again. This time I'm going to click on start from scratch. So this time I can put in the following prompt. Okay, so here is the prompt that I have put in for my email subject line. You are a top email conversion expert and you work for Product Camps. Your job is to write a personalized subject line to insert name demonstrating the value and benefits of AI. Keep your subject line to less than 10 words. Here's the context. They are the business owner at insert website. And here's a bit more about their business. Use a professional tone and make the subject line slightly clickbaity to pique the recipient's interest and entice them to open the email. And that's it. And now I'm going to press done. And the next column that we need to add in is for the AI to actually generate the body of the email. So I'm going to call this column email body. And again, I'm going to put in my prompt here. This time, the prompt that I put in is, you are a top email conversion expert working for product camps. Your job is to write a personalized email to insert name, demonstrating the value and benefits of AI, and then invite that recipient to book a free strategy call to learn more about our AI chatbot and voicebot services. Keep your emails to just two to three sentences. Don't write more than three sentences. And the reason that I put this here is because when you write very long outreach emails, people just don't read them. So you want to get to the point right away. So I give the AI some more context about the business. I told it to use a professional tone, pick the recipient's interest, and then I gave it a example email email that it could use. So this is my prompt here. You could also modify some additional prompt settings here by modifying the model that you want this AI to use. It can also vary the creativity and the length of this email by uh, changing the amount of tokens for the response. I'm going to click done and then click create. So now I have another column for the email body. And lastly, I'm going to just create a button. So this step is the advanced tactic part. If you do want to review every single email that the AI has written, then add in a button here called send email. So basically AI is going to collect all of the leads that come through 
YouTube, your Facebook lead ad, but it's not actually going to send out that email until you have manually come to this table, reviewed the subject line and the email body, and you're happy with it, then the AI will send it out. So this is an advanced tactic. This is something that only Zapier has that I have seen so far that allows you to add in this kind of manual human intervention into automation so that you get the best of both worlds. You get the best of the bot world as well as the best of the human world as well. It will also allow the human employees that you have to be able to do their job so much faster. All right, so for my button here, I'm just going to call it send email and then click create. So now you can see I have a button now that is next to this column and I can set up my zap here. So let's now first, before we set up this zap, go over back to our original setup and connect our table that we have just created to this automation here. Just as a quick recap, whenever we have leads coming through our Facebook lead ad, it is now going to add a new record inside of our Zapier table. After I have put in the Zapier table module, now I need to select the table that we have just created called Facebook leads ad. And now I need to fill in all of the information that goes into this new row that we have. So I can just click on the plus button here, uh, fill in all the necessary information, including the person's name, and then their email, and then their phone number, as well as their website. And then I'm going to click continue, test the step. And when I get the green check mark here, boom, I am ready to publish it. So it just takes a few seconds for Zapier to finish publishing this app. Great. Now that my app is live, I know that whenever I get a new lead into my Facebook lead account, it is now going to come through on the Zapier table. And we can see our test data has already come through. So this is great. Now for our last step, we need to set up the send email trigger. So when we click on this button, it'll show us that we need to now create our second zap. So what the second zap is going to do is send out that email once we have reviewed the email subject line and the email body. Let's set up that automation and then we'll put everything together and it'll make sense. So let's click on uh, start building our automation. The trigger now here is going to be whenever that Zapier button is clicked, then what do we want it to do? We wanted to send an email. So that's why our action trigger here would be email by Zapier. If you use a different email platform like Gmail or Outlook, you can put that specific module as well. And for our action here would be to send an outbound email. The recipient would be the lead that we just collected from the Zapier tables. And we can put in their email address right here. The subject line can be the subject line that we have just created. And then lastly, the body of the email is the email body that was just created. And the reply to field, this is where you put your email and the from name, this is where you put in your name. And that's it. This is all you need to do. Within less than 20 minutes, you can have a pretty powerful automation that can send a personalized email to every single one of your leads. You just need to test this now and then press publish once it's all done. All right, so once we have this automation published, again, it is just a trigger where whenever the button inside of the Zapier sheet is collected, we're now going to send the outbound email. And once we go back to the table, we can see now we have a button next to each of the rows in our table. And if we wanted to modify the subject line or the email body, for example, we can just click on the specific cell and then click on edit record. And then now we can edit in all of the input information so that the outputs will change. For example, let's say I wanted to change the name here to let's say Henry. And when I press save, I can see that the AI is going to go to work 
And I can see now when I expand on the email body, it's going to, it's going to now say, hi, Henry, instead of hi, Helena, which is what I had before. And then once I am happy with the subject line and the email, I can just click on send email. Then it's going to send this person their personalized email. Lastly, just before we wrap up, there are also a number of templates inside of Zapier tables that you can take a look at. These are some additional use cases of where you could start plugging in Zapier your table into your AI automations instead of having part of your automations living separately on separate spreadsheets like Airtable or Google Sheets. Now you can have everything inside of one place, which can also strengthen the security of your AI automations. Some additional AI automations that you can link through just to get your creativity juices running, there are some additional ways that you can use a Zapier table inside of your automations. So you could create employee directory templates. You could track your leads, which is what we just saw. You could create a to-do list a template. So you could assign people tasks and then you can create an automation to let them know in Slack, for example. You could also create an approval request template. You could automatically sync the leads into your CRM M systems and so much more. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on personalizing emails for thousands of your outreach contacts and adding in the manual human intervention where you can look over the emails. Now, if you liked this tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe. Lastly, don't forget to start personalizing your email outreach. Get your free Zapier account today. Sign up using the link in the description. As always, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.